Okay, so in this video we're going to discuss uh, the universality of the uniform distribution, which is quite an important theorem uh, in statistics. And uh, when you actually examine it for its pure maths value, this is absolutely an incredible theorem, universality of the uniform distribution. Okay, so uh, before, we, uh, before we discuss this, there is something we really need to get straight, uh, which is the concept of a CDF and uh, the concept of how the CDF is different from the distribution, a probability distribution. So this is our setup. We have some abstract probability space over here, uh, which has some sample space, some set of events, and some probability measure. We then have a random variable, uh, let's call it x, which is mapping this probability space. It's mapping every single outcome onto a real number, and uh, we want this space over here to inherit the probability space structure of this one, so that, uh, in effect, this new space that we've got here, where the outcomes are real numbers, is the same probability space structures back here. So we want every single event in here to have the corresponding event back here. I want the pre-image of any event here to be an event over here, and we want the probability of any event here to be the same as the pre-image of that event over here uh, under this probability measure here. So we'll call this the uh, omega prime, f prime, and p prime coordinates uh, probability space over here. Okay, um, so. The probability distribution is the name given uh, to this probability measure on a probability space where the outcomes are in the real numbers. So this here is the probability distribution. Probability distribution. Okay, uh, so what's a CDF? A CDF is a way that we can represent all the information of this probability distribution. Uh, so, uh, we can say what is the probability uh, of the event that x is less than or equal to little x, and we can plot this as a function of all real numbers called big F of x. So, the CDF, the CDF is a function which maps the real numbers onto the real numbers and basically it contains all of the information from this you can go back to this and you can work out what the probability distribution on this probability space is so it's a way of storing the information about this probability distribution but make sure that you understand that this is just a function from the real line to the real line that satisfies certain properties for instance the fact that it is monotonically increasing monotonically increasing uh, that the limit as uh, the limit as x approaches infinity uh, of uh, big F of x is equal to one, and the limit as x approaches zero, uh, sorry, negative infinity rather, of uh, big F of x is equal to zero, and then the final one is that it is right continuous. Okay, uh, so. Uh, it's a function, uh, a CDF is a function satisfying all of these properties. Now, okay, so now that we understand that, we understand the difference between a CDF and the actual probability distribution, and we understand how we can go from this to get a CDF, and we can get go from knowing the CDF back to knowing the probability distribution. Now, uh, I'm going to show you the universality of the uniform distribution. So, the universality of the uniform distribution says that if you have a random variable x, which is uniformly distributed, uniformly distributed onto, uh, let's say, 0, 1. So basically, this random variable here is going to map this abstract probability space onto the interval 0, 1. Uh, so this is the interval 0, 1. So it ascribes to every single point in here, it ascribes one of these uh, real numbers in here, and uh, we, uh, as I said before, we uh, make sure that this inherits the probability space structure of this, i.e. that as far as probability is concerned, as far as the probability space structure is concerned, this is just a, it's almost like just relabeling the elements of here. Okay, and basically, the universality of the uniform distribution says that uh, there exists another random variable, which I'll call uh, y here. This is another random variable y, which is going to map you onto the real numbers, uh, such that uh, if you look at this uh, space, let's say it's omega double prime, f double prime, and p double prime, this probability distribution here uh, has CDF, has CDF whatever you want, CDF uh, f of x. So basically, you give me any 
any um, any um, CDF, so give me any function that maps R onto R, so some function that looks like, let's say, uh, this, let's say, uh, where it converges on 1 up here, it converges on 0 as you go that way, it's monotonically increasing and right continuous. If you give me a function like that, uh, I can find you a random variable, I can find your function from this abstract probability space to a set on the real line such that the CDF is equal to that CDF you wanted. So that is an incredible theorem, in, 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 theorem as far as its pure maths value is concerned. It is saying that as far as uh, if you can find a random variable mapping this one onto uh, the uniform distribution between 0 and 1, uh, then you can find any probability space structure you want uh, within this probability space over here, this abstract one. Because remember, when we have a random variable like this, it's basically saying that this probability space here, in some sense, is... Uh, represents part of the structure of this probability space. So what we're saying basically is that if we have a uniform distribution over here, I can find you whatever probability space structure you want within this abstract probability space over here, which is an incredible theorem as far as its pure maths value is concerned. Okay, so simple proof of this formula, uh, of this theorem now, we'll do in the next video.